Planet Dolan. Hello, everybody. If you are still reeling from the Harambe tragedy of 2016, then this list is for you. Here are 10 other times that people ended up in zoo enclosures. My name is Nixium, and today, I'll be your narrator. Number 10. Jambo. In what is possibly the closest parallel to Harambe, a five-year-old named Lennon Merritt fell 20 feet into a gorilla enclosure at the Jersey Zoo. A silverback gorilla by the name of Jambo stood guard over the unconscious child while the rest of the gorillas looked on. Levin is now a healthy 35-year-old, and Jambo lives on in spirit as a hero. Number 9. The Berlin Zoo A teacher and mother voluntarily jumped into the polar bear exhibit and started swimming towards the bears during their feeding time. Now why did they do this? That is a great question. So as the bears began to maul her, zookeepers were able to pull the woman away, saving both the mother and the polar bears. While her mental state still isn't totally clear, she was given a citation for trespassing. Number 8. Tiger In 2016, a woman at the Toronto Zoo voluntarily launched herself into a tiger exhibit to retrieve her hat. Yep. But luckily for her, when the Sumatran tiger decided she was prey, there was another fence separating her from the big kitty's lunge, and the woman hopped right back out unharmed. Thankfully for one onlooker with video capabilities, her stupidity will live on in the interwebs forever. Number 7. Lion In May of 2016, a young man attempted to commit suicide by walking totally naked into the lion enclosure at the San Diego Metropolitan Zoo in Chile. Onlookers claimed that he started to lunge at the lions, spewing apocalyptic proverbs. Well, when the lions took the bait and started to maul the man, zookeepers were forced to shoot the two lions to save the man's life. Rest in peace, you poor lions. We're sorry. Number 6. Tiger number 2. A 23-year-old man scaled a 20-foot wall to jump into a tiger enclosure at an Indian zoo. He took his shirt off, and then he started pacing and intimidating the tigers. Believed to be drunk, the man carried on dancing and pacing for nearly 45 minutes, while the tigers just cowered in the corner. But don't worry, eventually security came and rescued the tigers from the man by locking them in their cages. Number 5. Dogs. When a two-year-old fell into an African painted dog exhibit at the Pittsburgh Zoo, all 11 dogs immediately started attacking him. Zookeepers eventually got the dogs away from the boy, but when EMS arrived on the scene, the toddler was pronounced dead. A fun fact, these dogs are considered endangered and they do hunt in large packs in the wild. Number 4. Jaguar. A three-year-old in Arkansas fell into the jaguar enclosure in 2014. When his father throwing random objects at the animal didn't deter it, employees used fire extinguishers to keep the big cat at bay. Both the jaguar and the child survived. Who knew that fire extinguishers were so versatile? Nice. Number three. Tiger number three. A Nebraska woman was charged with trespassing after breaking into Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo on Halloween one year so that she could pet a three-legged tiger. As it turns out, tigers are not house cats that like to be pet. I know this is a shock. You know, I, I know you guys might need a minute to recover from that. But I'm going to tell you that the tiger did do a number on the woman's hand, and it landed her in the hospital, and she was ultimately charged for trespassing. Number two. Lion number two. When zookeepers found a man's remains in the lion's den in the Melbourne Zoo, they weren't sure what had inspired a man to sneak in during the night. Authorities later discovered that the man had briefly visited a mental hospital, not for vacation, and that his kung fu teacher had told the man's class that they were now able to fight animals with their bare hands. That teacher was a, uh, kind of a liar. Yep. Number 1. Monkey. 
A tourist at the Fuzhou Zoo, which I probably just mispronounced, was trying to snap a picture of one of the monkeys when one decided to swipe the phone. The said tourist responded by doing the most rational thing you can think of. That's right, he climbed into the enclosure to try to get his phone back. The maquettes clearly were not fans of Instagram, though, because they proceeded to beat the man up until zoo employees could intervene. I guess you could say, no monkey business allowed. Yeah. This guy's been pushing me and pushing me and I'm sick of it! And that's it, everyone. Leave a comment below or suffer my eternal wrath.